Good day, USA. This is Alex with another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Today is Monday, November 1st, 2021. I hope you had plenty of tricks and a couple of treats your Halloween this past weekend. Um, this episode really is just, uh, I'm not going to say it's, it's nothing. Every episode is something. Every episode is always an opportunity to practice public speaking, to practice pronunciation, enunciation, tone, tempo, tonality. So really it's just a practice of, uh, public speaking, public address, and putting one foot in front of the other to get over either to get over any uh, hesitation, any fear of speaking in front of an audience, speaking into a microphone. And uh, explore, explore ideas, pull ideas apart, smack them up paste them back together I mean smack them up like gum them up chew them up paste them back together and see if it still looks right after you pieced it up I was thinking about um, about guns actually (laughs) it's uh it's it's never rare that I'm thinking about guns. It's uh, very often, actually, that I think about arms and weapons and whatnot. And I was thinking about uh, words that we use to to denote or connote a firearm code, essentially. And there's plenty of code, but code, codifying or coding is always contextual. I mean, you are subverting a language and using it for your own purpose, but it implies the receiver is in on it. It implies the receiver is aware that this code even exists. Otherwise, Otherwise, you're on some schizo mode. Otherwise, you're on schizophrenic activity time. (laughs) If it's just a code with yourself, and shit, maybe we might have one. Maybe we all have one of those too. But if it's just a code within yourself, have some tendencies for schizophrenic activity. I'm not saying tendencies are bad. I'm just saying that the evidence weighs a little bit toward uh, not instability, but uh, uncomplacency. How about that? Uncomplacency, not being comfortable, not being comfortable, not settling. Always cautious, head on a swivel. Because ultimately, as a professional, you can't, you cannot, I repeat, you shall not rest upon your laurels. Why? Because those with code will just code over you. And yeah, it comes in the form of slang. Somebody says they're going to piece you up with a fucking dry Popeye's biscuit you better know it, it's a you know you, you better know to, to pull yours out to be armed somebody says that they got that that joint they got that bone to compensate you with <laughs> and it's not a bonus it's liable that they got a bone to pick with you It should be enough to give one pause, take a step back and realize that what is being talked about 
is not what is being spoken on. This is code. Living by code. Or coding between the lines. <laughs> Maybe that's the title for this one. Coding between the lines. Yeah. I like that. Languages. Languages for languages. Conjunctions and pigeon talk. That's how language evolves at the end of the day. That's how language and understanding evolves. Socially, sociologically at least, anthropologically, words are nothing but tools. And tools themselves are inanimate unless they are used in context with tone with intention and purpose that's all words are words are just tools shit if words offend you you weak as fuck (coughs) I got (coughs) I got something that'll hurt you without me saying anything that's a gun (laughs) you just gotta code it between the lines (laughs) This whole episode has been code. And if you understood it from the very beginning, words can be phrases. That can be slang. That could be inside jokes and ulterior motive and alternate understandings between me, the speaker, necessarily speaking into this microphone to an audience away from me otherwise again I'm just talking to myself and I could be I could have those tendencies that I had previously referenced (laughs) but looping somebody back into that understanding is the code that's what creates that bond that's what creates that understanding It isn't always required to have some some <clears throat> cryptograph written in stone. Okay, not written in stone, but some hard copy cryptograph. Hard copy cryptograph that's distributed with a code book, a fucking codex with a changing key every day like an enigma, like the enigma. It's not necessary. It's not required. After a while, you work shoulder to shoulder with somebody long enough. It's almost as if you're familiar. Like a familia. Like a sibling. You understand how they move and when they move and why they move. Inside jokes. The way they walk. The way they talk. It's all coded. It's all coded. I don't know. I do know, actually. Don't don't say you don't know, Alex. But that's... That code... It can be distilled. It could be distilled into something even more uh, versatile. A skeleton key. Do you remember? The very first episode? I'm looping you back in. Go check out season one, episode one. Start from there. Filing down a skeleton key over time. Because it takes time. You can't just make or create or manifest a skeleton key instantaneously... I mean, you can. To use. You can use instantaneously. But not create one. Creating one takes time. It takes practice. It takes know-how. It takes social skill. And then even using it also takes social skill, too. You're liable to stick the skeleton key into the lock and turn it sideways and snap it. 
well, that's fucking wrong. That's all bad. And using a code, again, still requires a receiver, still requires an audience, just like you. Y'all are fulfilling my, my, uh, my mission, is it? Is it even a mission at this point? It's not my mission, it's just a mission. Y'all are helping me complete objectives. Helping me stay objective, remain objective. I mean, because subjectivity is all around us. It's all around us. But if you know... If you know how to navigate subjectivity... Then you take on the role of a professional. Capable of picking up anything in their environment and using it for their benefit. Subjectivity is a tool. Why? Because words are subjective. Why is yellow the color yellow? Why is blue called blue? I'm really, I don't know if I'm retarding it down. I'm not dumbing it down. I won't dumb it down for you, but I'll retard it just a little bit for you to catch up, for you to hone in, because that's the real definition of retarding. It's to slow it down. Dumbing it down makes you fucking dumb. I won't dumb it down. Even when you think, If I say I'm dumbing it down, if I say I'm dumbing it down, it's in context. Why? Because of an audience. Maybe my audience understands what dumbing it down means. But now I'm saying retard because as taboo in bully marks and quotes, as taboo as that word is, it has real meaning. It has actual meaning. To slow down. See, I'll just retard the message. If we're talking about qualification. I'm retarding the message. I'm not retarding my audience. And I guess this goes back to uh, why I was thinking about guns in the first place. I remember, um, I don't remember actually. I don't, I don't think I was around a whole lot of uh, lead pipes growing up. So I never really got to work with them. But I hear, or so I understand, that uh, lead was used a whole lot in construction, in uh, the transport of water. And then I realized that, well, bullets are lead. Why don't, why don't I start calling guns lead pipes? (laughs) That's what they do. That's what they transport. They transport lead. Am I wrong? Or am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? Am I wrong or am I wrong? Am I right or am I right? (laughs) That reminds me of another story. But let me finish this thought. We we never called, or I don't recall, calling lead pipes water pipes. When that is what they transported. They transported water. But they weren't called water pipes. They were called lead pipes. 
maybe it's when they were not being used to transport water. Maybe it's when they were already disassembled and being used to cave in somebody's skull. That's a lead pipe. You're, you're no longer using a water pipe as a blunt object to inflict bodily trauma on someone. It's a lead pipe. But a gun is that. A gun is just that also. It's a lead pipe. Inflicting bodily trauma on somebody. Shit, a water pipe might be a, a bong to smoke trees out of. <laughs> Fuck it. I might just call it a lead pipe. Makes sense to me now. In context. And just like that. I continue coding. Have a nice week.